welcome back. I have returned from Target. I have picked up everything that I needed to make in order to make this um, layered taco salad in a jar. So stick around and watch how I make this really fun, um, exciting, a lot of it's exciting, but fun meal to eat. And you can even like take it along with you, take it to work. You can take it anywhere and it's quick and it's easy and it's gonna be delicious. By the way, have I ever told you guys how much I hate my tea? Well, just in case I haven't told you, which I think I have in previous videos, let me tell you again. I hate my teeth. My teeth. My teeth. <laughs> Goodbye. I can be such a geek <laughs> at times. <laughs> okay, so over here I have everything ready and prepared of the things that I'm going to need. Here is the ground beef. Here, over here, are the sliced tomatoes. Over here, I left it over here, is the salad, um, the taco seasoning for the meat. I got some of this mild roasted restaurant style salsa. I love the fire roasted corn blend, so that's the one I picked up. The Mexican cheese, and this back here is my water. Whoops, sorry, I already started on the wrong foot. I need a spatula. Okay, got this. So, we're going to cook the taco meat. Like this. So, I like to mix. Yes, James. I love you. I love you too. I'm just joking. <laughs> I like to mix the taco seasoning into the water before pouring it over the ground beef. I love you, James. Nope. So now that the ground beef is browned, we're going to pour taco seasoning all over this, like this, plop, plop. Mix it around, turn this up a little bit so that it cooks. Okay, so the meat is done, so now I have to allow this to cool. So while this cools, I'm going to go take a sh quick shower and then come back down and assemble these, uh, these jars, show you guys how these are assembled. So I'll see you soon. So now, <clears throat> while the meat cools and I've already showered, I'm going to prepare myself my lunch. And here is this gestational diabetes oh 1900 calories gestational diabetes meal plan so what i'm going to make for myself is the um i'm going to take two slices of whole wheat toast for breakfast i'm going to take one egg and then i'm going to put a little bit of butter margarine and then i'll have water coffee or tea at the house then for lunch where's lunch here where's I've lost lunch. There's gotta be lunch. So that's this is a snack. This is dinner. Did they skip lunch? Yeah, Hang on, I found lunch. So um, the 17 small grapes is part of lunch. I had forgotten about that. Uh, so I'm gonna make myself a sandwich with two slices of whole wheat bread. I bought some low sodium turkey. And I also bought some low-sodium cheese. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of 
mayo. So that's the diet. I didn't know it was $1,900, $1,900 calories. All I can say is that I lost so much weight on this diet. So let's see if it works, even though I'm not pregnant. Okay, here we go. Here is the assembly line. So it goes a quarter cup of salsa, then followed by the lettuce, then followed by the ground beef, then followed by the ground beef, the corn, the tomato, the cheese, and then the Fritos. So let's begin assembling this. So let's put in the salsa first. In she goes. I really wish that these mason jars would have been the wide mouth. But I didn't see any of the wide mouths in Target. Okay, so in goes. Followed by the lettuce. And how much lettuce is it? It's a half a cup. So I'm going to gauge it. See, if this was a wide mouth, it'd be a lot easier to put in. So lettuce. Oops, everything is a fallen. A little bit more lettuce. Then after the lettuce, the lettuce and the ground beef. Now we add in, is this even cold enough? I think so. So the ground beef, how much of the ground beef is it? Um, well, if I'm making two, it's kind of like half. So the ground beef goes there. And this is going to be one for my husband. And one for this guy at work that I've been promising him one of these for a while. It's looking pretty. Can you guys see that? So I do want to put in a lot of the meat. Okay, <clears throat> the meat. After the meat comes the corn. So we're going to put in the corn. This is fun to make. I'm going to put about half a can of corn. And then the other half for my husband. Okay, the corn, after the corn comes the tomatoes. The tomatoes, and then finally the cheese. And I have to kind of clean that because it looks messy and I don't like messy. The cheese. And then tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to do the, uh, the Fritos. I don't know if they'll get soggy or not in here, but I do want to clean around that. Hang on a second. Because that looks messy, messy. So let's clean. I'm take out that piece of meat. All right, guys, there you have it. And you know what I thought of doing except that I don't have. Look at that, how cute. Tell me that isn't cute. This is, again, layered taco salad in a mason jar. Now, last but not least, my seal. Can you guys see that? So that I'm going, going to put right up here in the middle. Look how gorgeous.
gorgeous. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, but I am go I'm going to make my husband's and then I'm going to make James's in a little a little one. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hold on, let me turn this my way. I look beautiful. I look gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you guys make this, please let me know what you guys think. I think it's such an awesome idea, such a quick and easy thing to do just to take to work. It's easy to transport. It's perfect. So yeah, so let me know if you guys make it. I love you guys and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.